This is not your grandma's train, as they say. It's really like traveling on a first-class airline, somewhere between there and a luxury hotel. Huge economic impact in Fort Lauderdale. I'm sure it's having the same impact in Miami and West Palm. This is the single most exciting rail service anywhere in the country. South Florida, it's about time. This is something that this city has needed for a long time. To be car-free and carefree. It's going to revolutionize travel in South Florida. This is really going to solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. Go, Brightline! To be productive. This is state-of-the-art technology. And be happy. It's definitely going to take us into the future. It just sends a message to the world that we have arrived. So go, Brightline. Come on. Go, Brightline. Go, Brightline. Go, Brightline. Go, Brightline. The making of Brightline. I'm Andy Tillis here in the heart of downtown West Palm Beach with a sneak peek at Brightline's Express Intercity Rail Service. Brightline's brand new state-of-the-art trains are out to change the way we get around in South Florida and in the near future between here and Orlando. And would you believe this ultra-modern fleet runs on the same track that Florida pioneer Henry Flagler's trains used over a hundred years ago. Mr. Flagler, if you could only see us now. Henry Flagler really got the state of Florida going in the 1890s with the building of the railroad and in the process building some of the grandest hotels known to the Americas at the time. He really started what we call America's first resort destination here, the first purpose-built resort town in America. So the Bright Line arrival is really kind of paying back to the legacy of Henry Flagler by establishing that service again in a grand style. When Henry Flagler built the railroad into South Florida over 100 years ago, he went all the way from Jacksonville down to Key West. We're taking those very same tracks. We added a second track. We added and upgraded all of the signals and crossings all the way down. It is an incredible occasion to be able to reactivate that historic rail line in a way that's so meaningful for visitors and residents of South Florida today. I think Henry Flagler would say, they go how fast? Henry Flagler would be amazed and delighted to see this. And this is really his vision of bringing tourists and helping people to get around in Florida. I would hope that he would be proud of what we had done and how we reinvented and reimagined the work that he had created over 100 years ago. When you first board a Brightline train, it's like stepping into the future. Innovation is in every detail. This automatic gap filler greets guests with a seamless train-to-platform bridge for smooth access. And you'll be happy to know Brightline train sets are all made in America. Brightline is South Florida's new intercity train service connecting Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm Beach, and eventually Orlando. It is at the intersection of hospitality and transportation. It's not just a transportation solution. It is much, much more, as you'll see when you enter our stations, travel on our trains, enjoy our food and beverage services, and all of the development around the stations. This is the most innovative, forward-leaning train in America and that is going to allow us, for sure, to reinvent what it means to travel by train in America. It's the culmination, obviously, of many, many years of work, and there's a lot of effort and a whole lot of innovation in this box that we're sitting in right now. And with a completely American-made system manufactured here in Sacramento with really global technology at the best of its class, I think we're seeing the beginning of the future of traveling by train and what new train sets and the technology around them looks like here in the United States. We worked with over 40 suppliers in 20 states. The engines were built in Indiana by Cummings. The trains themselves were manufactured by Siemens in Sacramento, California. They were fully constructed, put together on all the parts sourced right here in the good old US of A. They're diesel, 
They are EPA compliant. You can't even hear these things running when they're sitting in the stations. They're very, very eco-friendly. Not to mention the fact that we're taking, you know, probably three million or so cars off the road. It's a great demonstration of what can be accomplished in this country. Coming up, Made in the USA meets Made in Miami. Miami Heat veteran Udonis Haslam's vision for his city. You know, it's going to be a feeling of accomplishment, you know, that I've been a part of something that's going to change the city of Miami forever. Henry Flagler's finely appointed private rail car was built in 1886 and touted by newspapers as a palace on wheels. Today, Brightline passengers enjoy spacious, comfortable seating, onboard Wi-Fi with power and data ports, food and beverage. Everything is state of the art. I'm here on Bright Green, one of the initial Brightline trains to connect Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and eventually Orlando. Our backyard is getting bigger. So relax and ride. When was the last time you did this on I-95? Traffic in South Florida, it's pretty bad. There's sometimes that I'll sit for like an hour, 30 minutes in traffic when I'm only going from one point to another that's really close. I would say the traffic at 95 is uh, pretty brutal in the mornings and afternoons in the rush hour. It can be very harrowing when you have to be somewhere on time like uh, Miami. If I could get out of my car and not have to deal with that, it would make me happy. There's massive frustration in South Florida and there has been for a long time. The average speed on 95 slows down about two miles an hour every year while the tolls continue to go up. So people are tired of sitting in traffic. It is unpredictable, it is unsafe, and generally speaking, unpleasant. So Brightline provides an alternative that is reliable, comfortable, convenient, and it gets you from point to point in a means that allows you to be productive. It's about a three hour drive if you leave any time after 3 p.m. to get down to Miami from West Palm Beach. People will be able to do that in an hour. We're about to start construction all the way up to Orlando. Early estimates have us opening up there somewhere at the end of 2020, early 2021. And that's going to be a complete game changer. Brightline is without a doubt the most exciting and progressive rapid rail project in the United States, period. There's nothing like it anywhere in the States. This is state-of-the-art technology, and it connects several of the most important tourism destinations in the country. Residents and visitors who previously would never have considered traveling to another city for a food and beverage experience or a hotel stay or to attend an attraction, performing arts center or the Lyric Theater. There are now opportunities that didn't exist for, for them before. Brightline is going to create an opportunity for you to reliably and predictably get from point to point and enjoy those benefits. We launched our service between Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach recently, and we are already seeing huge spikes at meal times because now West Palm Beach residents have triple the restaurant options that they did prior to us starting our service. We have over 20 cultural institutions within one mile of where we're standing right now in front of this station. You could walk to the beach from here. We have an incredible downtown. We have local businesses. We have City Place. We have great residential properties. We have incredible festivals and events on our waterfront. Connecting us to the region without having to drive a car makes it just that much more attractive and that much more fun. It'll give you so much flexibility as far as what airport you choose. You know, it's not just gonna be, I have to stay in Miami and fly out of Miami. It's, I can stay in Miami, then I can go up to Fort Lauderdale, and then I can end my trip in West Palm. So it's gonna revolutionize travel in South Florida. It can be a four hour plus drive to Orlando from Miami. So we're gonna be able to do that in three hours door to door, no bathroom stops, no food stops. We'll have a food car on board. And you're literally gonna arrive at the Orlando International Airport at their new South Terminal, where there are a myriad of different transportation options to get you to the theme parks, hotels, convention centers, and attractions. Being a Miami Heat guy, it never seems to amaze me how many fans we have in Orlando. Literally, there's times we were playing Orlando Magic and the crowd is yelling, let's go Heat. 
So, uh, you know, I'm sure those fans will be very excited to be, have the opportunity to make that commute. The way we move in South Florida for the last, you know, 75 to 100 years has always been how do we move vehicles? How do we move automobiles? And that day and age is over. Now it's about how do we move people? And we move people by walking, by cycling, by jumping on a trolley, jumping on a train, jumping on the wave, jumping on a water taxi. We move people so many different ways now, and this is part of that whole approach. So I think it's going to be a very transformative project from that standpoint in that it's going to create a multimodal center, but it's also going to motivate people to take different methods of transportation, different means of getting from one point to another point. I take the train everywhere. Once people ride this one or two times and get the experience of riding a train to work or to an event or a reason to move around, they'll completely abandon going on I-95. Welcome to West Palm Beach. Thanks for riding Brightline. We are improving mobility for millions of people in this state, and we're gonna take millions of cars off the road. We literally have people coming off the train, high-fiving us, that they, they are so happy that they haven't had to sit in 95 that day. It's incredible, it's game-changing for South Florida. Oh yeah, this beats the highway. Plenty of workspace, high-speed Wi-Fi, Brightline trains are all about the guest experience. There's even a place for your pooch. This is not, you know, your grandma's train, as they say. You've got reserved seating, leather seats, outlets on both sides, fold-down tables, overhead lights, and Wi-Fi, which, you know, are like oxygen these days, are readily available and very powerful. It's really like traveling on a first-class airline, somewhere between there and a luxury hotel. You can actually wheel a wheelchair into the restrooms that we have on each of the coaches of the train. Everything is hands-free in there, and it's a very, very spacious. Bike racks, luggage racks, we're able to take pets on board. You're never gonna sit beside a column. You're always going to have a window. Every seat has a workspace. We actually have some four tops where you've got two seats facing each other and a table in the center, so you could actually conduct a meeting. We've got two classes of service, smart and select. So one of the coaches is select, which is our equivalent of first class. They have wider seats, fewer seats in the car, a dedicated attendant, complimentary food and beverage, but an additional benefit is in the station, you get access to our select lounge. And that has complimentary food and beverage, quiet areas, it's a business area where again, you can be very productive. So smart service, you still get the leather seats, you still get the chargers, you still get the Wi-Fi, there's complimentary water included, and everything else is for sale. That's really the only difference. The experience is still way superior to any other train travel experience you've ever had. Next up, the Brightline boom. How the train and the surrounding development will change South Florida's culture, lifestyle, and economy. What would you do with an extra hour in your day? If I had an extra hour in my day, I'd be answering emails, I'd be doing Instagram posts. With the extra two hours I probably would get taking the bright line, I would relax or catch up on work or start work early, respond to emails, or just take a nap on the way there and not worry about being stuck in traffic. Brightline stations in downtown West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami have fueled a boom of development in South Florida. Popping up all around, luxury office and residential towers, restaurants, retail, entertainment, and culture. And when the first Brightline train pulls into Miami Central, the Miami Heat's own Udonis Haslam will be there with coffee and bagels. Miami Central is a six block 11-acre development, two residential towers, 800 apartments, office and commercial space. I mean, it really is going to change the entire landscape of downtown, and it's gonna activate Overtown in a way that it's never been activated before. And there are many, many uh, folks coming to the table, not all of whom I can talk about, but the one that I can talk about, of course, is Udonis Haslam, who is going to get involved with us at Miami Central. Udonis is a Miami staple, born and raised here, being here for many years, being a constant on the Miami Heat team. 
and a smart businessman. And he's got a lot of ventures. He's involved in Einstein's Bagels and Starbucks and Subways and so on. And he's going to get into a couple of spaces in Miami Central with us. And we're so excited to have him as part of that group. It's going to be a sight to see when you talk about, you know, all the different food concepts that are going to be provided. Um, you know, me having an opportunity to be a part of, you know, what's going on down here. You know, my partner and I, Ramona Hall, first got into this because, you know, we wanted to give back to the community. And like I said, I wanted to have an opportunity to provide jobs. You know, that's going to provide a lot of people with a lot of opportunities downtown. And Brightline and the train station is just a start to kickstart to how we want our downtown to look and how it's going to look in the future. It's just a testament to the faith that everybody has in the success that we expect to have with Brightline and with Miami Central and how it's going to transform not just Miami, but the state of Florida. What's great about these stations is, A, they are located very close to the actual city centers. Miami Station is right down by Government Center. Fort Lauderdale Station is on Broward Boulevard, a couple of blocks away from Las Olas, and the West Palm Beach Station is located steps away from Clematis Street and City Place. So getting from there to your final destination is very much simplified because there are other transportation options available. In Miami, for example, we're gonna have the Metro Mover, Metro Rail, and eventually Tri-Rail connected to the station, as well as the Metro Bus, and of course, rideshare partners, Sky bike, city bike, zip cars, Avis locations at each station. So we are not just focused on getting you from station to station, but we have also integrated your last mile option and your first mile option into the actual experience. People can come in by train, whether they're coming from Miami or West Palm or eventually from Orlando, jump on some other alternative form of transportation or do it the old fashioned way, be able to walk from here to the Performing Arts Center, to the Government Center, to the Federal Courthouse or State Courthouse. And I think people will start to recognize that if I can get to downtown, I have so many options available to get around. And the people in downtown say, well, wait a minute, I want to head to Orlando or go up to the theme parks. All I got to do is walk over to the station, jump on a train. So I think it's going to be a very transformative project from that standpoint in that it's going to create a multimodal center, but it's also going to motivate people to take different methods of transportation, different means of getting from one point to another point. When you walk into our station, the bright and airy environment, you walk upstairs through our screening area, into our lounge area, and you can smell the coffee, you can smell the fresh pastries. You're gonna walk right into Good To Go, which is our cafe concept, a great option if you like didn't have time for breakfast or couldn't pick up lunch or you'd like a cocktail after work or maybe a cocktail in the middle of the day whatever your preference might be the experience is so so different than the alternative it is so much more positive it's such a better way to start your day or to start your trip so in addition to that the stations have spacious drop-off and arrival areas it is like walking into an upscale hotel and there's parking at all of the stations and I think you're gonna see a huge economic impact from this to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars over time because we have not only transformed an area from a real estate standpoint, but we transformed an area from a transportation standpoint. And people are gonna start saying, well, I can get to Miami for that business meeting. I can get to West Palm. So I'm really excited about all the options that this station presents. Ready to go Brightline? At the station or with the app, booking is a snap. You're gonna walk in, we have our guest services oriented teammates prepared to help you. There are automated ticket kiosks. You can purchase a ticket, you can check your bag, change your reservation, add people to the reservation. You can handle all of that downstairs. By the way, you can obviously purchase your ticket in the app and not talk to anybody, which lots of people like to do that too. We have a play area, which is expanded and We've seen, as we've been open for the last few months, the smaller kids really enjoy that area. We're playing cartoons and they've got some things they can build. Next up, my first of, I hope, many rides on Brightline. So, South Florida, where would you like to go, Brightline? Me, who's still a big kid and loves to go to Disney World and Universal Studios and do things like that with my kids and enjoy that opportunity. Well, I'd like to visit my family up in West Palm and Miami, I'm gonna go out and hit South Beach. I am really looking forward to taking the train to Miami with my family. As an attorney here in West Palm, I also do work in Miami and the courthouse is in downtown Miami and uh, with Bright Line Station right near the courthouse, 
Uh, you couldn't ask for a perfect setup, but basically be there in an hour. actually operating trains. The construction really only started in earnest a little over three years ago. So in three years to have three train stations, five gleaming train sets and 70 miles of infrastructure in place, billions of dollars invested into this. There's an enormous excitement in the state about what we're doing and the early numbers have been extremely encouraging now that we've started operating. So we're excited for what the future holds for Brightline. Thank you all for joining the making of Brightline. I, for one, am ready for my first of many rides.